Hello and welcome once again to this video and in this particular video my focus is to explain to you how electrical speed control of DC motors actually work and this is more like a follow-up to the previous video where I showed you how you can use the Arduino microcontroller to generate PWM signals to control how fast your electric motor moves and one key thing you need to remember from that video was that the electric motor was getting it power from a 9 volt power source that is different from the 5 volt that was generated by the Arduino and the reason that was important is because your 5 volt that you can tap from the GPIO pings of the Arduino is not enough to drive most electric motors at full speed so you need an external power to actually cause it to drive and that the transistor you see in the circuit here is just acting as an electrically controlled switch between the signals that come from your microcontroller that turns the transistor on and causes the 9 volt to drive the electric motor in this setup i'm going to do the same thing just that this time around i've taken out the arduino microcontroller we used in the previous video to generate the pwm signals because i have a function generator here that is helping me to generate pulse width modulated signals just as the arduino microcontroller was doing for me and so i'm going to show you how by altering the duty cycle of the PWM signals, the speed at which the electric motor moves is also um, changed, is also altered. So as the duty cycle increases, the speed of the motor also increases. And I'm also going to use the, the oscilloscope here to visualize how the signal looks as it is being fed into the transistor, which causes the transistor to turn on and then this 9 volt is going to drive the electric motor here so in place of the pins that were connected to pin 9 and the ground of the Arduino I'm going to connect this to the output the pin that was connected to pin 9 of the Arduino is going to be connected to the output of my function generator the positive and the ground also goes to the ground as usual so in this case the function generator is replacing the Arduino microcontroller and I'm going to put this fan here to visualize the speed at which the motor is going to move. So at this point, I'm going to turn on my function generator and the duty cycle is 0 0.1. As a matter of fact, let me bring in the oscilloscope so you would be able to visualize how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to hook the, sorry for my hand blocking the camera. I'm going to use the oscilloscope. I'm going to hook it at a point where the signals are fed into the, the base of the transistor. And I'm going to set this. I'm going to increase the voltage that it is measuring. So let me make it measure, um, sorry, I want to set the vertical to, let's say, yeah, one volt should be enough. And I'm going to begin to increase the duty cycle. And as you can see, as the duty cycle increases, sorry i haven't connected the oscilloscope at the correct place so this is here okay so now you can see the signals on the oscilloscope and the duty cycle on the signal generator the function generator is 9.1 as i increase it you will see that the speed of the electric motor also increases let me 
widen this so that it's clear enough for you to see okay so on the oscilloscope the high the high values you see represent the duty cycle that is the the amount of time when the signal is on and at this point the low side is when the signal is off so from what you see on the oscilloscope it is clear that most of the time the signal is off and like i said my duty cycle now is 15 so 15 percent of the time the signal is off and that means 85 percent uh, sorry 15 percent of the time the signal is on and so 85 percent of the time the signal is off and so that causes the electric motor to move at a much lower speed because the signal comes in and is on only for 15 percent of the time and 85 percent of the time it is off now i'm going to increase the duty cycle from the function generator and you will see how it causes the electric motor to spin faster and you will also see the corresponding change on the oscilloscope as i change the duty cycle so i'm going to increase it and you should begin to notice that the duty cycle is increasing on the oscilloscope as well as the speed of the electric motor at this point i'm at duty cycle 50 so 50 percent of the time so as evident here you see that 50 percent of the time the signal is on and 50 percent of the time the signal is off now the spikes you see on the signal that is shown on the oscilloscope is part of the back emf the induced emf that is getting back into the circuitry from the motor i explained in the previous video that when a motor turns because it uses an inductor to work the inductor stores energy in the form of magnetic field and even though you are pushing a voltage across it to cause it to turn it also pushes back some voltage into your circuit and that is why it is important for us to have the capacitor and the diode across it to prevent the spikes so i'm going to hit the knob again and increase the duty cycle to all the way to 100 and just watch how the speed of the motor increases as well as how the signal on the oscilloscope also changes to match the duty cycle of the function generator so now i'm at 100 percent duty cycle on my function generator and so this is the highest speed this motor can turn when it is connected across this 9 volt and of course some few voltage drops inside the circuit that is made here but as you can see on the oscilloscope i'm at 100 percent duty cycle and so the motor is running at, at its full power with the 9 volts across it i'm going to begin to reduce the duty cycle once again and then you will see how it is also going to affect the speed as well as the visualization of the signal on the oscilloscope so I'm reducing and you should already begin to notice a change in the speed. So from 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And at 10, the motor is almost coming to a, coming to a rest. And when I go to zero, the motor turns off because for most of the time, okay, I'm actually at nine. Let me go all the way to zero. So at zero, you can see that the motor turns off completely because now the signal is off for 100% of the time. And as I begin to increase it, it begins to kick in and the speed increases as I increase the duty cycle of the generator signal so the lesson here is 
when it comes to controlling the speed of a DC motor, PWM is what you need. A pulse width modulated signal is what you need. And the work of the Arduino we used in the previous video was just to generate the signal at the duty cycle or the frequency that was needed to control the speed of the electric motor. So if there was anything special the Arduino was doing in the previous video, it was just generating the PWM that is needed to control how often the transistor turns on or off and indirectly controls how fast the motor spins. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment. If you have any suggestions how I can improve things, I will welcome them and thanks for your time. I will see you in the next video.